Hey everybody and welcome to my Marriage Story Netflix movie review. Uh, this movie came out on Netflix a couple of weeks ago and I watched it after uh, a lot of high praise from a lot of critics that I really respect so I had to check it out for myself and if I had to describe this movie in one word it would be depressing. It's one of the most depressing movies I've ever seen. Now that's not to say it's not a great movie. I'd, I'd give this movie a 93 out of 100 on the Star Strider scale. I'm going to predict uh, if anybody's going to be Joaquin Phoenix for Best Actor it's going to be Adam Driver. Also, I'm going to predict, not only is he going to get a nomination, I don't think he'll beat Joaquin Phoenix, but he's got the best chance. Um, I'm going to do an Oscar predictions video later on after the nominees are announced, and then we'll see what happens. Scarlett Johansson also deserves an Oscar nomination for this. This is some stellar acting, and it's very interesting to see two actors from these gigantic franchises like Star Wars and The Avengers be able to do these simple scenes where it's just acting, no bombast, no special effects, nothing over the top like that. You know, no, it's just incredible acting. I myself have gone through a divorce, and this movie really hit home because there was a kid involved in my situation, and this was exactly, I, I started having flashbacks. The way they were acting, the, the emotion that they were, they were, they were, they were, they were uh, portraying, evoking, that is exactly what it's like. That is exactly what a divorce is like. Anybody who's considering getting married, please see this movie. Marriage is almost a pointless thing now. I, I see no point in marriage other than th th there's just no point to it now. Nobody looks down upon you for being a couple that lives together anymore. No, I mean, I guess there are some people like that, but there's no... It, it's, it's socially accepted now, the, the alternate families. So, so why would you want to entangle, entangle yourself by signing government contracts and then having to go through lawyers and courts later on? Unfortunately, if you have a kid with someone... There's no getting out of that, but that, that's a different situation that only has to deal with child support. And um, this movie only re re reiterated the fact to me that I do not ever want to get married again, and I certainly do not ever want to have kids. I do not like legal entanglements. I don't like the government in my business. I don't like lawyers. I don't like courts. I don't like that horrible feeling of your life being destroyed, and you just feel absolutely helpless, and you feel these feelings of absolute hatred towards the other person. Oh boy, boy oh boy, this movie is, in one word, it is depressing, especially if you've gone through a divorce. I was able to relate this movie to this movie on a very visceral level. Um, it, it's just, it, it, this is what it is like. So take a good, um, if you're thinking about getting married, watch this movie and watch Divorce Incorporated. It, I, I just, I'm not a marriage guy. I'm not a family guy at all. Um, th this movie was beautifully acted, beautifully directed. Um, the director I'm actually not even familiar with. His name is Noah Baumbach. I looked him up and I, I couldn't recognize anything that he's done. It says, I think he's writing a screenplay for the Barbie movie, which nobody wants to see. Um... But uh, this movie might even get nominated for Best Picture because uh, from what I heard, it did have a... I watched it just at home, um, but I think it did have a theater release so uh, to meet the criteria to get nominated. And um, it definitely deserves... It's, it's, it's an Oscar-worthy film. Watch this movie if you have Netflix. If you don't have Netflix, go see it. Um, this is some of the best acting I've seen this year. That rivals the Joker. Or Joker. But anyways, did you guys watch it? Did you like it? Did you hate it? Leave your comments below. Let me know. And I will see you guys later. Okay, bye.